During a press briefing today, Commander-in-Chief Barack Obama thanked the service members who carried out overnight airstrikes in Syria, adding the strikes are consistent with his strategy to degrade and destroy ISIL. Fourteen strikes were carried out on multiple targets in Syria, hitting ISIL fighters, training compounds, headquarters and command and control facilities in several areas. CENTCOM just released this video of the airstrikes. Officials say the U.S. employed 47 Tomahawk land attack missiles launched from USS Arleigh Burke and USS Philippine Sea, as well as a mix of fighter and bomber aircraft. I made clear that as part of this campaign, the United States would take action against targets in both Iraq and Syria so that these terrorists can't find safe haven anywhere. I also made clear that America would act as part of a broad coalition and that's exactly what we've done. We were joined in this action by our friends and partners, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Jordan, Bahrain, and Qatar. America is proud to stand shoulder to shoulder with these nations on behalf of our common security. After the president's statement, Joint Staff Director of Operations Lieutenant General William Mayville briefed the Pentagon press corps. Lieutenant General Mayville said airstrikes were carried out in three waves to target ISIL and the Al-Qaeda-affiliated Khorasan group. Last night's strikes are the beginning of a credible and sustainable, persistent campaign to degrade and ultimately destroy ISIL. Our immediate tasks are to continue the, de the degradation of ISIL in Syria and Iraq, to build and strengthen regional partners, and to build a regional coalition. Pentagon officials say Jordan, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar continue to be a critical part of the U.S.'s strategy, but there was no coordination with Syria's Assad regime. 